Now when it comes to MYAB Advanced, um, it's accessible um, via any type of browser, so it is a um, cloud-based um, SaaS solution. So that means that whatever browser you're using, whether it's um, Chrome, Firefox, Safari or IE, you can access it as long as you've got internet connection and it can be accessed via multiple devices um, whether you're using um, your tablet or even your phone or even your laptop. Now in terms of the system itself, the system is designed to lend itself to um, growing size businesses and it means that um, you can actually set up the company however you want it and what I mean by that is that if I sign in as my user you can see that it presents me with a couple of options so I can potentially have multiple companies within the one um, site itself so I can choose to have a New Zealand and an Australian based company and it then allows me to sign in and based on the user it means that I have access to both companies as you can see from here. Now that means that if you are wanting to completely separate the companies um, in terms of your customers, your suppliers, your stock items, your GL codes then it means that you have two completely separate entities um, but it also does mean that if you wanted to you could then have intercompany and you could have a top level company which allows you to then report in whatever currency um, you want to see and all of the transactions flow into there. Now when I say it's a flexible system in terms of the company size what I mean by that is that I could simply have a New Zealand company but I could also utilize a section which is called branches. Now branches could lend themselves to just being the branches um, within my New Zealand company in this case Christchurch, Auckland and Wellington um, or if I wanted to I could actually lend them into being different um, companies per se. So if I looked at my organization structure and looked at my branches you can see that on my Christchurch branch um, I could potentially put in a different GST number, I could have a different company name so for all intents and purposes as long as they are under the same jurisdiction of New Zealand they can be entirely separate companies but within the one database. Now in terms of that it just means that you can report tax um, based on those different companies as long as you have um, different GST numbers. Now that then means that it lends itself to instead of having multiple companies you could have multiple branches based on that. Now the other part in which um, branches lends itself is that whatever user you log in as you can set a default branch for that user. Now the reason for that is that you can then when I'm doing whatever transaction or, or whatever document I'm creating it means that you can see that the branch column dictates and shows where this is getting apportioned to. Now it also means if we're using multi-branch then we can split it across different branches so we could have a marketing cost for example that then goes from the Auckland branch and the Christchurch branch and also the Wellington branch. So we've got that split on the one document going off to the different areas. Now in terms of that as well it means that when we come to our financial reporting if I look at my profit and loss report for example it then means that I can run either a profit and loss report based on multiple companies if I wanted to or I could actually show it for just a single branch within this single company and if I just run it for that you can see here this is my Auckland profit and loss.